to solve C, we're going to set up the equations. So I'm going to write out C here. So 0 0.03x plus 0.15y equals 0 0.027. Now, this really isn't any different from any other equation. It's just got decimals in it. So if we want to avoid the decimal, what we can do is we can just multiply by the, um, in this case, we can just get rid of all the decimals. So we have our 1,000th place over here. So we can multiply by everything by 1,000. Now that's going to give us some pretty big coefficients, but if we don't want any decimals, we can do that. So we're going to multiply by 1,000. And when I multiply by 1,000, I'm going to move that decimal point over three spaces. So I get 30x plus 150y, and that's equal to 27. And that represents the whole number coefficients of that first equation. And then I can do the same thing for the second equation. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the second equation. In this case here, I have negative 0.5 wall x. Oh, that's going to be x. And then minus 0.5 y. And that's equal to 0.05. Okay, so again, I want to get rid of all the decimals. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to multiply everything by 100. So there's two decimal places I want to get rid of. So I'm going to multiply by 100. And this is going to give me negative 50x. So we have to be careful of our signs. Negative 50y. So 0.5 times 100 is negative 50. And then times that by 100. 0 0.05 times 100 equals 5. Okay, so there's my equation. Now, the easiest way to match my coefficients is I'm going to multiply the equation 2, and I'm going to times equation 2 by 3. Okay, so I'm going to multiply that by 3. And when I do that, the coefficients end up being negative 150 x, negative 150y, and that's equal to positive 15. The plus 150 and the minus 150, these are zero pairs. So if I add these together, I'm going to add. I end up with negative 120x, and that's going to be equal to positive 42. Solving for x, I get 42 over negative 120. This does have common factors, so I'm going to simplify this into negative 7 over 20. And as a decimal, that's going to be negative 0 0.35. Okay, so I'm going to then go ahead and solve for y. I'm going to solve for y by plugging in x. So I better make sure I box in x here. And I'm going to then substitute x into my equation. So I get, I'm going to substitute into equation 2. So I'm going to put negative 0 0.35 minus 50y equals 5. Multiplying that through, I'm going to get uh, that looks like it's going to be seven positive 17.5 minus 50y equals 5. Subtract 5 from both sides. I end up with 50y. And solving for y, I get 12.5 divided by 50. And that works out to be, I can simplify that into... Uh, that looks like 25 over 100, which simplifies to 1 over 4. Or as a decimal, this would be 0 0.25. Okay, and that's positive 0 0.25.
So then that represents the solution for y. So I've solved my system of equations.